No, I did just speak with Dave Markham, and I have to tell you, for the first time in a long time, there was a little bit of a smile on his face, and I asked him about that, and he says, yes, it's because he is so grateful that prosecutors, investigators, the public, that they have not forgotten this case. Whew. It's been a long time, but this is, uh, this is good news. Dave Markham staying guarded but hopeful after learning about this new development. 35-year-old Jonathan Palmerton of Fairfield has been indicted on a perjury charge for allegedly lying to investigators at some point in the Caitlin Markham investigation. I still try not to get myself too excited and, and, and wound up because I've had too many roller coasters, uh, things that didn't pan out. But yeah, I believe I believe this is going to go somewhere. So who is Palmerton? He was right there in their in their inner circle. J. Ryan Green is a private investigator out of Florida who investigated Caitlin's disappearance and death. He was a close friend. So any bonfires, any parties, anything like that, uh, John Palmerton was involved in because he was one of John, best, John Carter's best friends. Carter was Caitlin's fiance at the time of her disappearance and the last known person to see her alive. Green said during the course of the investigation, he interviewed Palmerton twice, but then... We set John Palmerton up for a polygraph, and he was actually a no-show. The only thing he really said to me was, I just don't have anything to hide, I don't have anything to do with it type thing. Um, you know, I'm just trying to help you out, so I'll talk to you, but I won't take a polygraph. In addition to Palmerton's arrest, prosecutors confirmed a search warrant was executed at his home and also Carter's mother's house, where Carter lived at the time of Caitlin's disappearance. Carter agreed to speak with me on the phone today and said the new developments are, quote, a shock to me, and I don't know what to think at all. And I just want to be very clear, John Carter has not been charged with any crime. However, I did ask him about the search warrant that was executed at his mom's house where he lived at the time of Caitlin's disappearance. And he told me he didn't know anything about the search warrant until after it was executed. And he says he really doesn't have any idea what they could have been looking for. Reporting live tonight in Fairfield, Karen Johnson.